Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about Star Wars. We're going to talk about some rumors. A couple of rumors here. Uh, we're actually going to go out to Game Rant. One of them is that Star Wars may get its own What If series on Disney, which uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, What If is a Marvel thing. It was actually based on the What If comic, but it's an alternate timeline. It's like, what if Aunt May had the powers of the Silver Surfer? What if, you know, uh, Mary Jane was Spider-Man or so, whatever. It's it's kind of a cheap out because you can show like what would have happened if things had gone differently. And there's some speculation that Disney might use this as a back door to- what, what if Disney Star Wars didn't suck? What if it didn't suck? What Too if they, late. Well, if they put a chick in it, make her gay and make her lame, what what would happen? No, no, they'll use it as a way to put more diversity in it and say, well, it's not, it, it's just what if. What if Luke so Skywalker, what if Luke Skywalker was a black lesbian in a wheelchair? What about that? You know? What if it was Leia and not Luke who was the train jet? That, that's well, what they're going to probably that's do. That's what people think, because they've already been kind of pushing in that direction with uh, like the little animated shorts and stuff. They had Leia doing stuff in the original trilogy that she did not do. Mm -hmm. They had Luke looking absolutely incompetent competent and yeah so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this and we're gonna talk about the rumor uh since they're pushing ray so hard the ray movie seems to be in limbo this is a rumor coming from uh making star wars podcast i guess they said last time they heard they didn't even have a script ready for it yeah they announced it because they thought they were trying to hit but oh we're gonna get something we're gonna do the we're gonna you know oh the ray movie and then it didn't work it blew up in their face and now like oh uh, oh the mandalorian and grogu yeah you like so that don't you yeah well i think i think they're starting to pay attention i think i think Disney is. No, I believe it when kathleen kennedy's gone uh, yeah i but, believe disney's paying attention and disney's trying I think they already got rid of the story group. I'm not sure, but you don't hear from them they, anymore. They got rid of the story group. When you get rid of Kathleen Kennedy, because I no job have I ever ever seen where you can fuck up this badly and you get to stay in charge. I don't. I mean, you either have to have blackmail material on somebody or something because this is ridiculous. You should have been out the door. You get rid of the other CEO, but you keep Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, it's it's insane, and she just keeps making bad decisions after bad decisions. I don't know what's going on, but I, I think this is all like, you know, hey, if we only got money, because Disney's running out of money, if we only got money for one one thing uh, between Baby Baby Yoda and Ray, which one's going to make us more money? Well, we sold a lot more Baby Yoda merchandise than we did Ray merchandise. In fact, Ollie still can't sell Ray merchandise, so yeah. And the thing is, you know, we hate women. It's like, no, look, listen. You could have had a good movie with Ray, but you did it. You could have had, you know, you could have added your Rose Tico character and Holdo character and just had them be good characters. But you're too busy focusing on agenda bullshit and putting men in their place. And you're too busy doing all that, that, you know, these characters could have been good. And then you, you, you ruined them right out of the gate. And then like Finn should have been a Jedi. I mean, you kind of alluded that was going on and then you didn't even go there at all because yeah. he's a dude. So, and I'm sorry, it's stupid. Well, that's, that'll be one of the what if episodes. Basically, all the stuff that people wanted, like, what if Han didn't die? What if Luke Skywalker were a proper Jedi? I don't know if they'll do that. I think they're going to go with, you know, what if Leia was the one that was the chosen one? Oh, I'm sorry, now it's Rey. If Leia Rhea. was, you know, there instead of Luke or something like that. Rhea. What if the Ewoks were Jedis? Oh, my God. They what? No, they kind of did that. The, the kids show, the new kids show they have. He's not an Ewok, but he's he's Ewok adjacent. He's a little little I do blue Ewoks, but, you know. Ewok looking thing with a lightsaber. Like your like, savage little asses. They're so cute. They're just like, there, rip your face off. Bite your ankles. Uh, yeah. Gee rabies. I love them. <laughs> so, I don't like them better than Porks. Porks, like, my whole purpose is to sit here and be cute and annoying. At least Ewoks were cute and annoying, but they were also vicious little shits. I love it. Porks They're the are honey food. badgers of Star Wars. Porgs are food, not friends. That's right. Uh, let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Go out to shopclownfish.com. This is the last day. Last day. We'll shut up about it for now. Uh, <laughs> to pick up a copy of Crimson Random previously on Clownfish TV, graphic novels printed in hand. Go out to shopclownfish.com. They're, they're, we're going to ship the last batch for this campaign out probably Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, because Monday's a holiday. Yeah, so lock your orders in this weekend. Thank you and very much. And after that, they're down. Yeah.
for a while, indefinitely. We yeah, don't know. I don't know when we're going to put it back up. I don't know we'll when see. we're going to do it either. So I guess let's um, let's talk about the what if rumor first, and uh, we'll go out to social media and see some reactions here. But the rumor is that they are talking about doing uh, a what if Star Wars exploring alternate scenarios within God. Star Wars universe. You can't even handle the basic Star Wars universe. Uh, this is according to Game Rant. <laughs> what, what if's going to be all the canon, the decanonized? That's what I think it's going to be. Know, it's going to be like, what if, you know, Mara Jade was here? Yeah. Um, like, what if my foot wasn't up your ass? And this is how they're gonna. This is how they're gonna try to please all masters. I think they're gonna be like, oh, you want that? Uh, you know, you want this character to do that or whatever. Or oh, we're gonna bring some stuff back from the expanded universe, which they decanonize. So like, you know, people are like, oh, Disney, you know, Star Wars can never be decanonized. I'm like, as far as I'm concerned, it's not George Lucas Star Wars. He has said on multiple occasions, it's not his Star Wars. It's not where he would have taken the characters. So you you can completely ignore it. You know what they're going to do for sure, probably? Hmm. What if uh, Ben Solo was turned good and he and Ray were off to, to shop the Raylos? Oh, my God, what they if, would. What if Ben Solo, what if Luke never got, you know, tried to kill Ben for no damn good reason and Ben turned good? <sighs> so what I'm afraid of, uh, what I'm afraid of with this is that um, they're going to use it as a backdoor to introduce a Star Wars multiverse. And we've heard rumors about this nonsense before, like, you know, using a loophole in the Dave Filoni to introduce, you know, time travel and the world between worlds and the veil of the whatever sisters, scissor sisters or whatever the hell they are, night sisters. And now that'll be the what if. What if the night sisters were the scissor sisters? No, uh, I doubt that. But what <laughs> if Padme turned to the dark side? Padme didn't have power. She... Oh, no, they're going to make sure you know that she had lots of midichlorians, right? Um, so, yeah, according... <laughs> she got... Because she slept with with Anakin, she got she got midichlorians of her own. Oh, my God, yeah. She That's why Jedi aren't supposed to sleep with people. That's why not... Yeah, because you're going to infect them with your yeah, awesomeness. Because now, now the Force is, is an is a, a, a STD. <laughs> the Force is an STD. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, would they do that? Yes, they would. I can't. Oh, God. Go ahead, continue. Oh, my God. Uh, according to a recent rumor from insider Daniel Rickman, parent company Disney owns Lucasfilm may take the concept of infinite possibilities and apply it to Star Wars. Rickman claims a Star Wars what if is already being developed. A Star Wars version of the series would also reimagine pivotal moments within the canon. Uh, super fans have already been imagining alternate reality Star Wars scenarios. For, yeah. for what Star if Wars Disney? Here. What if Disney didn't buy Star Wars? Yeah. And a potential title for what if could include things like what if Padme turned to the dark side. Uh, there's no shortage of insane twists that creators could put on Star Wars series where anything goes. Well, it's basically Disney Star Wars at this point. Like, it doesn't matter. What if you get stabbed by a lightsaber and it's barely an inconvenience? What if, what if you're, you're, you're an Obi-Wan and you're watching ever Luke and Leia shows up for no damn good reason and has no reason to have ever met Obi-Wan prior. And then he tells you to pretend he never met me. What if that happens? Oh, we did that already. It's called the Obi Wan Show. Yeah, their shows are already, already Star Wars. What if? Yeah, they are. They are. They're basically like, yeah. What if we just what kind if of Lizzo was in Star Wars? <laughs> what if Jack Black and Lizzo were in Star Wars? What if? What if the Mandalorian was Bo Katan? And what if we just went back to Star Wars being Star Wars and and not Disney shit? That that. That, that's what if happen. I bet I wouldn't have had to just sell a bunch of my Disney stock because it's pulling down my whole damn portfolio and I can't hold on to it any longer losing money when everything else is literally going up except for Disney. That is true. Yeah. We were just talking that before we recorded this episode that you're like, you're looking at your stock and you're like, yeah, Disney's dragging down my entire portfolio. So I'm getting rid of some of it because it's like, I cannot hold on to it any longer hoping they fix this shit because they're just not. <laughs> you're breaking my heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of you. Uh, yeah, so they kind of already did this. I forget which game, uh, uh, one of the Star Wars games they had where uh, Anakin actually had uh, killed uh, Obi-Wan. And I guess uh, they went on to kill Palpatine and then he assumed the, the throne. He became the emperor. And then they had another version in the comics where he actually didn't turn to the dark side. And he actually was a well-respected Jedi. So, I mean, I can... Yeah, but we won't do that because we, we won't can't do focus that. on male characters because, you know, that's just bad. They're all what, evil because they're evil. What if Leia was canonically gay? Leia and Holdo. Loldo. Right. Yeah, Loldo. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Or Heia. 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 <laughs> they're the Scissor Sisters. <laughs> What's of, going on? Oh, God. They're the Scissor Sisters of Star Wars. 
Um, I crash my ship into you at light speed, baby. Uh, yeah. So I uh, like, will they be stupid enough to do it? Yes, they absolutely like, are they going to piss people off more if they do it? Yes, they absolutely will. They will. They'll, they'll make sure just to rub it. Somebody off. There's no way. Rub it in everybody's faces. Or what's going to happen. What could happen, which would be like the scissor sister. Amazing. Is if they do the what if scenarios, what if we actually give the fans what they wanted and it was so much better than what they actually did and people be like, what the fuck? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do this in the movies? Disney, what's wrong with you? Um, so another rumor is that the uh, Ray movie is in limbo, which I, we kind of wondered about because we reported the other day that uh, they're moving forward with the Mandalorian before Ray. That the Mando movie is taking Ray's spot. Yeah. Um, according to Jason Ward from making Star Wars, uh, he said that the draft of the Ray movie has yet to be written. This is a, this is from two days ago. There is no Ray movie. I was so that's why they're pushing it back because there was nothing to work with. Yeah, I think so. Like they announced it. This is a very, this is a very Kathleen Kennedy. Like she announces all this stuff and then she looks like a fool. Cause she has to, she has to walk it back time and time again. How many announced star Wars movies have there been or trilogies or whatever, and then they had to walk. Oh, Kevin Feige's doing one. Oh, uh, you know, we've got, uh, uh, what's his name? Taika Waititi doing one. Oh, we got Ryan Johnson's trilogy. It's still no, in the works. those are gone. Patty Jenkins. Oh, that Patty might Jenkins be just a gone. show now. No, that one they're keeping. It oh. might just go to Disney Plus. Um, and then it's this, this, whatever her name is, Chinoy chick. And then oh, okay. everybody, she's out there. Everybody doesn't like, don't like her already because she's already known for being an activist first. Yeah. And it's like, why would you? But thankfully, thankfully, guys, a woman is finally in charge of Star Wars. So this is this is what uh, Jason Ward of Making Stars, who actually has some ins with some Lucasfilm people, uh, as I understand it. Um, I don't I don't watch him, but I, I understand he's got some ins. He said, I was told that Knight hasn't written it yet. He hasn't gotten to it. The scheduling and the stars don't align. Uh, he clarified this doesn't necessarily mean it's not happening at all. But simply, it hasn't happened yet. That's why they're pushing it. Oh, they're going to make sure they do. They already announced a Ray movie. They have to do it now because it's a Ray movie. Well, Ryan Johnson's trilogy. It's yeah, but it was it, it like Dalio said it thought said it's Ray, and but, if they don't, they're going to get a lot of crap from from. Uh, well, they didn't get much no, crap. they won't because it's Ray without the low. So that's true. There's no Kylo Ren, and Adam Driver said there's no way in hell he'd ever go back to Star Wars. This way, yeah, I, I don't he blame might him. be saying that and then go back. You never know. They all, they're a lot of them say, I'm not, I'm not because casting paycheck. That anymore. Because yeah. paycheck. I mean, Ky if you gave me enough money, I'd, I'd be like, yeah. Kylo Ren figures actually sell. Believe it or not, they like I don't see Kylo Does Ren throw his helmet around and slash things and throw a temper tantrum. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Know the first time I saw it, I was like, what is this? I don't see Kylo Ren's rotting on the shelves like I do other characters, but uh, I'm just saying. Um, anyway, the massive delay may be partly due to uh, Knight's attempt, who's a screenwriter, to write a screenplay for the Peaky Blinders movie, which is supposed to happen this summer. So yeah, they're going to push it back, and they talked about how they're going to push the Mando to the 2025 mm -hmm. release date, which I, I'll, I'll believe that when I see it, because that is not enough time to put a Star Wars movie together. Um, okay. Strike that. It's not enough time to put a good Star Wars movie together. So maybe it will come out December of next know, year. Right? Yeah. But there, Charmaine Obey. I never remember her name. Charmaine uh, Charmin, Obey. Um, Obey. Just don't squeeze her because Chinoy. especially if you're a dude. She does not like to be squeezed. She does not like dudes squeezing her at all. So yeah, a lot of people, what if? Oh, look at all the ships, guys. Everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, I got like 700 likes on this. Yeah, I just think this is how they're going to they're gonna get away with having their cake and eating it too. Oh, it's a multiverse, guys. We're going to, you know, this is what Star Wars, what if we give you the Star Wars you actually wanted? What if we pandered to the shippers? What if we, you know. Well, that's right. Visions is pretty much that. Yeah. That's, that's a very good point. Visions, and there's two seasons of it. It's pretty much. It might interest you if you didn't already watch it. Yeah. And that's Nobody it. did. Here's the thing is that. And it was up for awards and stuff, guys. Yeah, yeah. Visions is supposed to be real. I haven't got to see it. I'm not going to lie. I, I just, honestly, I, I used to existed. watch everything Star Wars that ever came out. I consumed every bit of media. And now I'm just like, I just can't make myself do it. But yeah, Visions is kind of already that. Yeah. Um, and it was good. They actually got some anime. I, I saw part of it. But I think I think what, what has happened to me is because of Disney Star Wars. And not even, I mean, look, the movies are pretty shit. The shows are pretty shit now. But the drama, the circus around it, I don't even want to watch the original Star Wars anymore. Yeah, so there we go, guys. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Disney looking to uh, just, I don't know what they're doing. Disney just 
basically looking to milk Star Wars as much as they can milk it, but nobody cares, so they gotta. Oh, that what? What if Ahsoka went with Maul? That was actually pretty good. And what if Finn was a Jedi? Yes. What if Finn was a Jedi? Because you know what? If they had focused on Finn, and you know they had made Rey like a good character, I, I you know, think they would have had a lot more people interested. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there we go, guys. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if the Ray movie is going to happen. I don't care. I honestly, I don't care if, I don't care what the hell Disney does with Star Wars. Just like I don't care what the hell happens with Masters of the Universe. I'm going to do a video on that later. Neon I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that one. I'm putting my fingers all over it later. Gonna, yeah. I'm I, fingering up Masters of the Universe oh Revolution. Oh, God, don't. Don't Just, finger and, Kevin. And Kevin Smith. Just, I, that's coming later. Yeah. So I, Kevin. Okay, so that's that's her. I, I don't want to do it. She's gonna do it. That's that's fine. Um, oh, I have no problem. So let's, that little piss ant on. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Yes. Let's wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.